Hey guys, how's it going? So today I want to set up a fountain. You might remember if you saw our video last year, I can't remember what month it was in, but we unboxed a huge load from Unique Stone. It was full of gorgeous containers, most of which have bulbs coming up. Some are blooming already, some still have yet to bloom. But there was also a fountain called Spring Nymph. And it's one that I've admired for a really long time. I decided to get it, but we didn't really, we hadn't decided where we wanted to put it. And I think I'd like to put it up in front of our house. It's in a full sunspot right now, so I decided to step into the shade to start this video. It's a little easier than squinting at you. Um, but I have a little area where I've got a hedge of atlas roses. In fact, let's go up there. So here we are. You can see the Atlas Roses here. There's some tulips that are blooming. We have not mulched yet, but it's kind of perfect timing to get a fountain set up. There is a Limelight Hydrangea there, some Nine Barks, uh, Alliums that are coming up. And I had planted an Evergreen two years ago. You can see the trunk, it died. <laughs> and that trunk is set there just all of last year until this point now. So I was thinking it would look really pretty to have a fountain right in here, have the sound of water. Um, you know, we film a lot of videos in the sun porch, so we're out here quite a bit. I think we would really enjoy it. Plus right behind me, we have quite a bit of chaos going on. Uh, so trenching, all kinds of stuff. I mean, yeah, you can see the trench right through the yard and everything from the sidewalk I'm standing on forward is going away and we're retooling the whole thing. So I thought, well, this flower bed we're keeping, I wanna make this flower bed as pretty as possible to kind of contrast everything else. So a backed up view, in fact, we haven't even watered any of this, none of the grass just because it's going and we want it to be lightweight. Um, so yeah, everything from the sidewalk forward, we're gonna be retooling this year, which I'm really looking forward to. It's gonna be really good in the end, um, but it will be a lot of chaos and a lot of just kind of like, it's a process. I mean, you guys know how that goes. So we've been moving plants and Hebe's gone and the fence section's gone. Um, and so it's just looking rather bare and that's kind of why I would like to make this just as pretty as possible. And then I'll plant some really pretty blooming annuals up here and we'll probably mirror it on this side. <laughs> like you can see the cords and the missing concrete walkway here, the trench, all that. Oh boy but we can still focus on the beauty and that is what today is about. So I'm gonna go see if Aaron can come back and help me get the pieces for this. Uh, they're behind the barn currently. And I think at this point, we have nowhere to plug this in. I should have thought this through, hold on. Is there a plug in close by? Uh, you know what, I might have to put, I might have to run a cord just up over the side. There is a plug-in on our little porch up here and we're having the electricians, they're gonna come and put an outlet really nearby. I might ask them to put one extra outlet so that I can run a fountain without having a cord dangling from somewhere. So I think we'll have to run the cord back up over the side. It's gonna look classy, but honestly, like the house is being painted this spring. Look at how bad. Let me show you. We're having some repair work done. This is the old side of the house, so 1919. Um, yeah, it really needs some attention. There was something here, I can't remember, but they're gonna repair this and we'll have that painted. So just a lot going on right now. So I didn't even plan it this way, but I'm super thankful to have this fountain so that we can just enjoy that sound and enjoy the beauty of it. Okay, so I'm back behind the barn now and we've got the fountain in pieces along with the Hebe fountain that we removed from underneath the crab apple tree. Um, but this is the spring nymph right here, which we'll probably be able to see much better once it's kind of out of this little area here. But that's the, the top piece. Here's the bottom piece. There's the bowl. And this is the little, I think this is the shroud that sits right underneath the nymph where the pump goes. I think that's how it's all gonna go together. The problem is, is that I kind of remember that the pump kit didn't come with the fountain, which it typically does. And I forgot to contact the company, which I probably will, but I think I might have enough random supplies around here to cobble it together, we'll see. Kind of started dragging stuff out. This is my little pump box right here. I've got a couple of extra pumps. I've got some tubing, some extra pieces. So I don't know, we're just gonna have to see what is needed here. I kind of enjoy that process. Like I kind of enjoy figuring out all of the drip stuff when I'm not in a hurry. When I know that I've got time to do something and I can just kind of putz around and kind of mess with parts, it kind of is enjoyable. So I don't know, unless I have to make a ton of trips down to the garden center for extra things, then I will probably really enjoy this process. <laughs> Okay, so I think what I need to do is figure out what size a tube fits to the bottom of the spring nymph. I think that's gonna be our, that'll be telling. I 
Okay, so it looks like we're dealing with a part that's got a thread down there at the bottom. I don't know if I'll be able to just push a piece of tubing up through that or not. I'll see what I can do. I wonder if that's the right size thread right there. I might go try that out. But we've got a bunch of irrigation parts too, like this right here. Try that one. Let's see, one inch, three quarter inch. Well, that fits. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so I think I got it figured out. I'm using an aquascape pump and some of their flexible pipe that Greg left here after last year's project. Boy, his extra supplies have come in really handy for me. But you can see the threaded piece down here. Well, this is just a connector that comes with the pump. In fact, there's three connectors. One I left, oh no, one's right here. So it's got, like you can hook it here and go a curve if you need to. And then there's this one here um, that's a straight one that necks down to a smaller kind of tube and it's got an open and shut valve. Um, and then there's just this basic straight one. So this one will go in the bottom here. And then I connected a little piece of this tubing here, this flexible tubing. So it looks like this right here to the bottom of that connector. And that will connect right to here. So as long as this pump isn't too much, this is a 400 gallon per hour pump. So it's kind of a big one, um, but it does need to push the water all the way up. I don't know. We'll see what happens if it's too much. I may need to steal a piece of this tubing from this a pump right here because you see that little thing that little silver thing i don't know what to call it this right here so you can twist this and pinch the tubing and restrict water flow so that may be what i have to do but we'll see how it goes first with this setup right here i do think we could have made it work with one of these swing fittings okay now that i think i've got it kind of together i'm gonna go see if aaron is available now to help me lift all of these pieces we may even need to ask a third person to help with this bowl it is a beast like it's really thick and heavy so Anyway, that's the next step. Would you like to help me move a fountain right now? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> oh, can we use the tractor? Oh, well, it's behind the barn. Well, can you get the tractor behind the barn? Is it, is it heavy? Yes, we might need to ask Paul for his help too. Well, I like the idea of using the tractor. <laughs> what are you doing exactly? Watering. What you watering? Watering things. Remember we ripped out all the yeah. tubing in mm -hmm. here? Made planting a lot easier. Boy, that does look dry. Look at that. Whew. Oh, lots of weeds. Look at all of these. Oh. That just makes me feel good to watch yeah, that. We need to let it run for a while. Yeah, I let that soil soak it in. Is it hitting the other side good enough? I wonder if I accidentally just pulled the hose too far. Good enough? Yeah. Good. Has this grass been watered because it looks dry? What, like 30 minutes? I love that sound. No wonder this bench gets all white. Okay, Erin, so what it consists of is this piece that's leaning down here and she's leaning on the pedestal uh -huh. that this bowl right here sits on. Uh -huh. And it's little piece down here is what the nymph so sits this. on. No, that's Hebe. Okay, but they're similar. They are very similar. So if we move this table, if we just slide it out of the way, you could get your tractor right in here. No yeah. problem. So Aaron went and grabbed the tractor. He said he thinks we can fit all the pieces in the bucket and that he will only trample a couple of the plants getting <laughs> in to the front yard. Awesome. I'm still working on moving some of those perennials and shrubs that are up in that front yard. I know that some of them inevitably are gonna go, but um, I've been able to move a lot more than I thought I was gonna be able to. So that's been really nice. I don't think we can fit all of those pieces in the bucket. 
maybe most of them in the bowl separately. Oh, really? Is it as bad as the base? Uh, a little bit heavier, but really? not, not crazy. Oh. Okay, so we've got the base in place. We didn't even remove the stump. How lazy are we? <laughs> I just thought, well, it's just gonna go right up through the center. It's totally fine. It can just start to decompose right there. So I ran and got a level because I think it would be in our best interest, maybe, level to level up. that up first yeah. and then put the bowl on and level it again. Do you have a shovel or anything? Uh, no, but I can just use my hands. Okay. okay. Um, also, something I forgot about, um, I didn't think about the rubber stopper. I don't have an extra one, so I do think we're going to have to go to the hardware store real quick. I did, however, have a plug for this right here. This is just the water drain. It's not tight. I might try to find another water stopper or a rubber stopper as well for that, but I can always use some of this waterfall foam sealant stuff around that one if I can't find what I need. So anyway, here's the level. You want to see? I think it's down in the front end. Oh, I was going to look at the drip. Ah, yeah, we also haven't connected the drip up here. So this area has received zero water up to this point. It's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah, it just needs to go up in the back. Okay, can you um, turn it the other way and see if it needs to just yeah, it needs up in the to back? Up on this side a little bit. Okay. That's what you want to see. Okay, now the bowl. Paul helped Aaron get it on the cart, but Aaron th thought that I could probably manage this one. Because you're a beast. I think that you have too much faith in me. Got it? Yep. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have the base here, so I have those ginger wine nine barks at Aaron. Those get five to six feet tall. I forgot about that a little bit just because I just trimmed them back. But it looks really good from this angle because it's kind of framed by him. Yeah, see from this angle, that nine bark like totally shrouds it. And especially once it gets bigger. And that's kind of the angle that's most important, I think, as you're approaching the front. Okay, I think I found a spot that it'll look good. It's the one I showed you earlier. Yeah. I think it will fit in better. Okay. So I was kind of scouting around this morning just to make sure of where I wanted the fountain to go and it kind of came down to the spot up front and a spot right by our kitchen entrance. So we've showed you this kitchen flower bed uh, several times. Our kitchen entrance is right here. This is the one we use the most. And the only reason why I shied away from putting a fountain here was because it's a little heavy on concrete pieces, but I think I can remove the pillar, the bunny, and the topiary pot. So I remove all of that stuff and put the fountain right in there. And this whole bed fills in with stuff. I mean, completely jam packed full of, of plants. And I think it might, it might be good right there because honestly, Aaron, I don't know that I'm going to like, you'll see very much of the bowl, like the bottom. I think it'll be shrouded in plants. Yeah, probably. And you'll probably just see the nymph kind of like coming up out of the plants with water coming down. Yeah. Okay. So we're not too far in yet. We don't have it plugged in and running, so no, that's true. I think we can move it over here and give it a shot. All right, what do we need to do? We need to start moving some pieces. Okay. Base first, I think. Well, we'll get the bowl over here, set it down, and we'll then... We'll move this stuff out first. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that first. Okay, that actually looks pretty good having it a little bit cleared out, breath of fresh air. I am gonna leave the topiary, I decided, because I forgot, I've got a ton of anemones. See those all the way around the pot, like all those kind of bigger leaved plants? Those grow up so tall that 
last year I don't even remember being able to see the pot so I don't think that that's going to be an issue um, and I really like having that structure right there the evergreen structure so now we'll go get the fountain we'll start in on that I'm liking it in this spot so far. Um, so hopefully, once we go to all the effort of getting this set up, it, <laughs> we'll like it here. I think I like the sound. So what we need to do at this point is I'm gonna fish, cause you can see there's the hole for the cord. That's where the pump cord goes down. That's where we need to go get the rubber stopper for. But I'm just gonna fish this cord all the way down through, and then we're gonna have to try to tip the hole, like the bowl and the bottom, so I can pull the cord out. Um, I'm gonna try to get as much of this down there as I can. It makes it a little easier. Okay, I'm gonna leave a tiny bit of flex on the cord. So that's gonna sit down in there like that. And then this is gonna hook on to the bottom of the, I might have to lay it, I'm not sure. This is gonna hook onto the bottom of the, this might be too tall. Okay. Well, I do know we need a rubber stopper, so I'm gonna head to the hardware store for that. Bingo. I think I'm gonna get one of each of these just in case. Of course I forgot to measure it. So I just went ahead and got a whole bunch of these and I forgot to get the smaller one for the water plug, but that's not a big deal. So I'm guessing I'm gonna need like this size, possibly this one. Let's go try them out. Well, I'd be able to tell better if I could get it into the hole but I do think that that is the right one. So in order to make this work, so typically when you get a fountain like this that the cord goes down through the center, you get a custom cork that has a hole through the center and then a slit so that you can kind of sandwich the cord right in the center and then you know, push this down in the hole really hard to where there's no water that can come through. So I'm just gonna custom make mine by just drilling a hole and then making my own slit, super easy. That should work out really well. Let's go try it. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Like a glove. Oh, for crying out loud. Russell, what are you doing? So now I've got to figure out the tubing and how to make it short enough to where it's all gonna fit in that little reservoir. My word, okay. This reminds me though of my garden center days because we used to troubleshoot fountain stuff like this all the time and that's why I bought so many stoppers. One, because I didn't measure. But two, I will find myself in a position where I will need one of those later on and I will be happy that I have one uh, in the wings waiting. Okay, so this. I love the fountain right here. I think it looks perfect. Erin thinks it might be a touch tall, but I think it fits just wonderfully. So now I need to go get a hose and fill it up. I've got it already, like I've got an extension cord already cruising across the flower bed right there. Uh, so we'll fill it up and then turn it on. And the, the last piece is just to see if that pump is the right size. Hopefully, hopefully it is. You ready? Yep. Is it gonna work? I'm worried it's gonna shoot so far up that I won't even know what to do with myself. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. I hear something happening. It doesn't look level on top exactly. I think it's gonna spill toward the front. Uh, water is coming out. Down the bottom? <laughs> Dang. Okay. I think I need you to tip it again. All right, take two. Or should I back up? Something's happening. That doesn't sound good. Nope. See this tubing sheared off this piece. It lined 
it, set it down, set it down, set it down. Okay. 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 Take three. Oh, that's loud. Is it coming up? Not yet. That doesn't sound right. It's not in the water. The pump's not in the water. Oh. Okay. We need to tip it again. Okay. Take five. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there it is. We have water. Okay. It's, it's filling up. Kind of loud though. Well, I think I need to put more water in the basin. It's a big pump. Oh, there it is. Spilling over the front. What do you think? is nice. I need to level it up a little bit. Okay, so we had it running and we were trying to level it up and uh, ended up deciding to unplug it so that we could get it level without splashing me to where I was completely soaked. And when we plugged it back in, it's not working. So what I'm doing right now, because I didn't really get the water plug sealed completely, I'm just letting it slowly drain out the back. I'm not doing it super quickly because I don't want the ground to give way. I'll just let it slowly drain into the ground. And then um, I want the bowl to dry out. I'm gonna get a proper seal on that water plug and then we'll fill it back up and try it again. Which means we are going to pick this project up in the morning after everything's dried out. Um, but you guys got to see it running um, and I did too, which is awesome. I love it right here. Even if I used it as a bird bath, I would love it right here. But that sound was really, really nice. And I think if we can get it really level, it will be um, one that just kind of minimally splashes. I'm expecting a little bit of a splatter. Um, and it's kind of why I feel like a flower bed is a really good place for it. So it's not all over like a solid surface and creating a lot of hard water damage. So anyway, it's just a really fun change because the lion pop that was here, uh, it just landed here when we moved here. It was just like, oh, here's an empty spot in a flower bed. Let's just pop the pot there and there it sat for the last five years. So this does look really pretty. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. Okay guys, it's a new day. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit and it's a little bit breezy. So I have a feeling that once we get this up and running, I might be unplugging it because we're supposed to get stronger winds this afternoon and I don't want all the water to escape. But I did go to the hardware store again and I got the proper plug to put in the water drain hole. So what I'm gonna do is get that all set up, fill it back up, kind of troubleshoot the pump, get the top leveled, and then hopefully we see it running and looking beautiful. But I do have to say, that even from last night to this morning, just looking out the kitchen window and seeing this beautiful fountain sitting out here, it's just made me so happy. It's such a good fit for this flower bed, I think. So anyway, I think having to move it here instead of having it up front was kind of a happy, a happy, uh, not accident. You guys know what I mean. Anyway, okay, let me work on this thing. So that's what I had in there. Let's see. Maybe this one, yes. Look at that. Really helps to have the proper stuff. Are you getting a drink there, Russell? What is it with cats and running water? It's working. Okay, we're definitely leaving, well, we're almost level, but we're leaning a little bit more to the front right side. So let me work on getting that leveled up, hold on. All right, there it is. We got it as level as we could. You can see it's splattering pretty bad. So what I think I'm gonna do, oh, hey buddy. You wanna see the fountain? Come look at this. What do you think? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we used to do at the garden center, which I'm gonna try, is the one, see the, the water that's coming down over here in particular, it's like hitting her arm and then it hits the base and splatters out. So what we typically would do is come in with some silicone and put like a little bead of silicone right underneath which help kind of like push the water out. So what I'll have to do then is turn the fountain off, let that top part dry, and then we put our silicone on, let the silicone dry, and that usually rectifies a lot of the problem. I do, however, expect a little bit of splattering and I knew that just because of the distance that this water is falling. Do you love it? What? You're getting real close to it? Do you feel the water splattering on you yet? A little bit? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I just so much love it there. That's really splattering, isn't it? Dang. 
<laughs> okay, so let me show you the view from our kitchen window. Okay, so I'm standing inside by our sink. Well, you can see Benjamin there, but <laughs> you can also see the fountain. And I just absolutely love it. Hi, Samantha Grace. Can you hear that water? Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, there we go. We made eye contact. Hi, sweetheart. There we go. So that's it, you guys. Super happy to have the fountain up and running and not sitting in pieces behind the barn. It's just always a shame when I see beautiful pieces back there, like when we're kind of in process waiting to figure out where we want to put things. Um, but I really am happy with the placement. So now all we need to do is get this flower bed mulched and wait for all the plants to start like filling back in because this whole area fills up so much. It's kind of surprising. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.